Hey, Paul, what's going on? I'm about to sign your uh, picture here. And give you a V shout. There you go, Paul. All the best. Have a good one. Paul. Paul, how are you? Former W Superstar Horns there. I wanted to wish you a very, very happy 40th birthday. 40! The big 4-0. Alan reached out to me. Said you and him go back and forth on Cameo with wrestlers that you love. Hopefully I'm one of those wrestlers. But he also wanted me to shoot on you, Paul. And destroy you. I can't do that. I'm a nice human. And plus, Paul, life has already done that to you enough. Take care, man. Happy birthday. So, hello there. You know, it is Christmas. And it's a day to be kind and thoughtful and compassionate and all that good stuff. And I was. I was on my feet for about eight hours of cooking and serving and having a good old time with my family. Then I got this little, hmm, I got this little, well, anyway, I thought I'd be kind to you, sir, Mr. Paul Fraser. God, please tell me you're not related to the Fraser because that would be a just a horrible horrible situation. Anyway, I hope your Christmas was shit. I hope that um, maybe uh, you got a flat tire. Maybe no one came and visited you. Um, but you spent hours and hours watching wrestling and you still sit there on YouTube and watch all of my videos from the past and anything new, of course. So I just want to say that I think that that is 1% good about you and all the, nah, I'm just kidding. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that other good stuff because your friend Alan told me to give you so much shit <laughs> and I did. Anyway, I wish you the best and I hope you had a wonderful Merry Christmas and a great Happy New Year. Take care, um, keep being awesome and... See you down the road. And don't let me kick your Fraser ass. <laughs> Bye. Oh, man. Where do I start? Well, Paul. 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 First and foremost, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is The Coach, formerly of the WWE, formerly of ESPN, currently CBS Sports PGA Tour. But... Paul, this isn't about me and my stardom. I got a lot of things that come across my desk right here. Whether I'm doing my CBS Daily Show or I'm doing a PGA Tour event. And normally I let things just slide. But your file came across my desk with a little note from Alan. You know Alan, right? You guys do this little thing every single year, try to one-up each other. Now he tells me that you're a big wrestling fan. He also tells me you're a big fan of mine. Not surprising. I meet thousands, if not millions, of coach fans all the time. But here's where you're a little bit different. He tells me that you like to model yourself after me. And I don't know if that means trying to look as good as I do. I don't know if that's trying to sound as good as I do. I don't know, Paul. But it has taken me a lifetime to perfect the coach. And you think you're going to do it off of watching some videos from 2002? Watching some sports centers from 2012? No, Paul, that's not how it works. So here's what I want you to do. You want to be like the coach? Get in the gym. Pump some iron. Do some cardio. Then and only then are you ready to start your day. I live with the Mamba mentality. Get up before anybody else. I'm up 5 a.m. every day. You, Paul? Oh, you're up until 5 playing video games with your buddies on a headset on Xbox Live. That's what you do. You want to be like the coach? You've got to study every single sport. Become a genius. Become an expert. Because right now, the only thing you're an expert at is opening up the fridge door and saying, hmm, hmm, 
hmm, yes, I'll have some of that cheesecake. That's what you do, Paul. I don't mean to come down on you. I don't mean to, well, us in the wrestling business shoot with you. But I'm also not fake, Paul. And I also know somebody that's not living up to their potential when I see it. We are now at 2 minutes and 45 seconds of my life that I cannot get back. So, Paul, I'm asking, no. I am begging you to start doing something right. Do not make me come back a year from now. And say, Paul, where are you at? Oh, you made it to, to, to level eight on Call of Duty. Big freaking deal. It's time for you to step up, Paul. It's time for you to look Alan in the eye and say, no more. It's time for you to say, listen, you want to come after me? You want to come at me? You better be strong and you better bring receipts. So I'll leave you two to it. Because I've got a lot of other things I need to go do. So, Paul, happy birthday. All kidding aside, I hope you have a great day. And, hey, I'm an equal opportunist. And if you call me a little ring-a-ding-ding, I'm always here for you too. But this isn't for you. It's for Alan. So you suck. Peace. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the former intellectual savior of the masses, Damian Sandow, now known as Aaron Stevens, and this message is for Paul. Paul, hey, this is not the first time we have interacted. Um, this is not the first time that we've uh, we've had a little something to say to each other. But I heard, and this is very disturbing, that you think you look better than me in a robe. And I also think that you're the true intellectual savior of the masses. Well, look, the true intellectual savior of the masses, number one, that's whatever Vince decides it is because I think he owns that moniker. I'm not sure. But looking better than me, and I'm not even sure what you look like. Now, you may very well look better than me in a lot of things, like let's say a dunce cap. In fact, I'm going to guarantee that you look better in a dunce cap than me because there is nobody, nobody that looks better than me in a robe. And I have all the little action figures to prove it. And even the cat thinks so. The cat just jumped up. Kitty cat, what do you think? That's right. So there you go. The cat agrees. I agree. Paul? No. Have a lovely, merry Christmas.